I've spent eight years learning 23 different instruments so that I could find the easiest ones. I thought, there's got to be more instruments that you can just pick up without more than a couple days of practice and sound pleasant to your ears. Four of the easiest ones were Chinese. So, I'm coming to you from China to show you four Chinese instruments you can probably play right now. This is a lesser known flute, known as a bawu. It's sort of like a recorder, although it's got a smoother, silkier sound. Uh, it sounds a lot like a clarinet. Unlike most Western flutes and a lot of flutes from around the world, it doesn't require any training of your embouchure, of the muscles in your mouth. So you really do just kind of blow air into it. The finger combinations aren't that complex either. It is linear. So there are six holes on the top and one hole on the bottom. Begin by covering all of the holes, like this. And to go up the scale, you simply remove one finger at a time. Finishing with the final note. It's very important to have your thumb on when you go up the scale, and then your thumb removed would be the final note. You know, you can explore the instrument, but the truth is you don't need to remember any complex finger combinations like um, some Western flutes. It really is just... So it's really simple in that sense. Now, you are limited to that scale, unfortunately. You can't go higher or lower, but there is quite a lot you can do within that scale. It's a cheap instrument. It's really durable. You can really just kind of throw it in your bag. Um, and you can get them for quite cheap. I remember getting one out of uh, Qibao, an old market in uh, Shanghai for, must've been 100 kwai. You can get them off amazon.com for roughly the same price. Uh, this is a nicer one uh, for about 400 kwai at a local music store. Uh, but the truth is they're easy to get. And uh, I'd recommend this over the others for its price, uh, durability, and just ease of playing. Our second woodwind instrument is a bit more well-known, but quite a bit stranger, the hurusu. It's a small gourd with three bamboo shoots coming out of it. And uh, this is actually a larger one, but they actually get to be quite small. It's much like the bawu, but it's actually a little harder to control and the sound is quite a bit higher. Give it a listen. Like the bawu, uh, you simply blow into this very simple mouthpiece without needing to train your embouchure. And the fingering is identical. There are six holes on top and one on the bottom. So you cover them in order. And in order to play a scale, you really simply just go up while keeping your finger on until the final note, like this. trickier, it's a little harder to play. Uh, the sound is definitely a little higher, a little tinnier, area. Yeah? Perhaps a little harder to master. But, you know, being able to blow into it quite simply, much like the bawu, makes this yet another accessible instrument you can find here in China. This is the Zhongran, the, for anyone who might already have a little experience in guitar or ukulele. It's got this big resonant body which really allows the sound to really come out strong. And it easily scans a couple octaves with um, you know, a really low bassy note and uh, a much higher you know, top note. So the Zhongran has a very simple combination of notes. Um, it's only got four strings, but only two notes. It's the one five one five. You can play with a pick, or alternatively, uh, you can play with your fingers. Traditionally, it's played with a pick or even a plectrum, um, but you know I prefer to use my fingers as my finger picking style. 
Um, you'd be surprised, you could actually get one for quite cheap. Um, I've found them on Amazon.com for about 120 US dollars. Um, you could probably get something similar off of Taobao for about that price. Um, I got mine off of, um, out of a music store for about uh, 1200 Renming Bing. So, um, you know, it's, again, it's a little less accessible, the case is much bigger, but it is definitely an instrument that you can learn in uh, quite little time. So our final instrument is my favorite, uh, the ancient zither, the Chinese gu zhong. This is the zither that started it all, 2,500 years old. Personally, I've found that this is the most accessible and easy instrument to play that I, of all the instruments I've tried. And it might be a bit daunting because of its size and the sheer number of its strings, but in truth, I think this is the easiest one of them all. So, there are 21 strings, but actually only five notes. This is a magical scale, known as the pentatonic scale, which, in my opinion, makes the instrument very easy to play, in that the pentatonic scale, you can combine any two notes, and there will never be dissonance. It will always be pleasant to the ear. And that way, it doesn't take long for you to get a pleasant sound out of the instrument. You can really just paw it like a cat. Wear a blindfold, whatever you like, but right out of the gate, the instrument sounds very pleasant. So of course it will take time to develop melodies in conjunction with chords, but I think of all the instruments I've shown you today, it's the most accessible in that sense. You can really approach it with the ability to play any combination of notes at the same time. There's no fear of failure in that sense. Um, of the four instruments, it might be the least accessible in terms of having one. I mean, they're definitely large and the number of strings. I think it's uh, like having a piece of furniture in your house. Uh, but you can always stack it up, put it out of the way. And oftentimes, music stores and schools will offer rentals. In Los Angeles, I was able to rent one for $40 a month. Um, also, you find them used. A lot of people are looking to get them out of their house. Um, I bought mine off Craigslist in New York City for less than the cost of a Zhong run. I think it was about 200 US dollars. So should you want one, I highly recommend looking at the different uh, options of buying them because honestly this instrument changed my life. And I think even for starting musicians it has the capacity to change yours. So that's it. I'm Justin Scholar from Radii China. and. Uh, We'd love to hear your experiences with the instrument. If you leave a question on our site, we could probably answer it. And uh, it's been a real pleasure to share these instruments with you. And um, that's it. See you soon.